What is up, players? It's War Boss Tay back up in this mug. Welcome to an unboxing and review of the Eldar Hemlock Wraith Fighter. It's the uh, big fighter jet for the Eldar Force, and uh, it could also be built as an Eldar Crimson Hunter, which is what I'm going to be building it as. I'm so excited to open this up and show it to you because it's uh, one that I've been waiting to paint for a long time and I, I'm really excited to pop it open and start building it up. So the first thing you see, common component in all Eldar kits, is this infantry and tank transfer sheet for the Eldar. It's got all the designs for the different Eldar craft worlds and uh, a bunch of different various designs and symbols on it. Very alien and mysterious, but also uh, very beautiful and intricate. You also get the standard big flyer flying base, or flying stand and flying base, oval base. So you can tell this is going to be a very big vehicle, a lot l larger than the tanks, the uh, grav tanks or the fire prisms that come with it. You've got two sprues which we'll dig into in a second. Let's take a look at the instructions first. Uh, you also have the standard Eldar canopy. So here you go, you can build out your jet fighter as either a Hemlock Wraith fighter at the top or the Crimson Hunter. You can see the different designs, the silhouettes of the finished design, so you can decide for yourself which one you like the most and which one you want to buy, or um, build up. So like I said, I'm going to be going for the Crimson Hunter. The detail on these instructions, again, is very very good, high quality, and you can see how all of the pieces go onto the model when you're building it up. And uh, it's, yeah, it's really great at showing you what everything is supposed to look like. So hopefully you don't get too confused and glue the wrong pieces to the wrong frame. And uh, hopefully you know you're able to build the correct loadout that you want. So, I, I think it looks great. Again, it's sleek, it's kind of, rec it's recognizable as a jet fighter. You've got the wings, you've got the main body. It's not so alien that you don't recognize what it's supposed to be, but it does have a lot of curves, a lot of uh, sleek looking rounded edges, and no hard, hard edges like uh, Imperial vehicles. So really, really cool. Let's uh, try not to sneeze, I'm sorry. <sighs> Woo! Bless me, I'm sorry. Sorry for that. Now let's uh, take a look at the frames. So the first one, beautiful wings, looks really cool. They've got the uh, little spirit stone looking things if you want to paint those up. Uh, awesome looking body. Of the the frame looks really really nice. It's that high quality plastic that we all know and love. And is this the bottom? Yep. It's where the square or the uh, cross flying peg is going to go into. And here is the second sprue. We'll take a look at one side and flip it over because a lot of the detail you're going to see on the other side. Cool. If any of you are Eldar player out, Eldar players out there, and you have any tips or uh, any loadouts that you prefer, or just stories about using the Eldar Hemlock Wraith Fighter or the Crimson Hunter in your games, I'd love to read them. Put them down in the comments below, and uh, yeah, I'd love to read them because this is for a commission. This isn't going to be something I have in my own personal collection, so I would love to uh, read about how they work and if it would be a good investment for myself if I were to get into playing the Eldar, if it would be a good thing to have in my force or not. I mean, the model looks terrific. I can't wait to paint it up in the BL10 color scheme and uh, I'm just really, really excited to dig into it. Do you get, yeah, it looks like you get two choices for the heads there. For the pilots, one uh, 
that looks more like the traditional Eldar kind of cone head and one that looks more like a like a pilot's helmet. It's pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna go off and build this guy up and see <laughs> see how it goes. And stay tuned because I'll do a second video showing off what it looks like completely built up and uh, how it was to build it as well as just my final thoughts and wrap up. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to hit that like button below. Hit the subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Leave a comment before you go. Thanks for watching.